is that no matter how much surgery you do, no matter how many drugs you take, you don't stop being the thing that you were born. You don't get to determine your reality by a stroke of the will. What's up, YouTube? Hope you are feeling good. Today, guys, we have a new video. Charles Kick lives woke gender activist in tears. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Uh, and I'd love to check this video out with you guys. Let's get right into it. So my question is about what you said earlier about um, Justice Kentaji Brown's uh, Jackson's qualifications for the Supreme Court and how you mentioned that. Hmm. I love uh, shit. Trump 2024. To, uh, a woman is. Tell and I'd like to compare that to um, Justice Barrett. So, uh, Justice Jackson went to a public high school, attended an Ivy League law, law school, um, clerked for the Supreme Court, was a public defender, uh, served on a sentencing commission, was a district judge, and served on the Court of Appeals. And um, as for um, Justice Barrett, she was a Supreme Court clerk, and uh, she also sat in the Court of Appeals. And when um, she was being questioned by the Senate during her confirmation, she uh, was asked to, to name the freedoms of the First Amendment, which um, she struggled with. So my question is, what makes Justice Jack, uh, Jack uh, pardon me, uh, Justice um, Barrett more qualified than Justice Brown? So first of all, what does your shirt say? I can't see that. Trump 22, 24 years in prison. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. got it. Yeah, that's, got it. But we could talk about that in a second. Um, I, I was like, like seeing double. I was like, are you a Trump fan or not? Because, yeah, obviously not. Um, yeah, I I just supported the guy right now. I thought he was voting for, he was supporting for Trump twenty twenty four. That's, jeez, oh my goodness. I, I just can't believe it. I just supported him right now. I thought the shirt was sent to uh, Trump twenty twenty four. This guy's ridiculous. I mean, how is by the way? How is Katanji Brown Jackson's? Ivy League credentials, impressive if she got in with affirmative action. Why is that impressive? And by the way, Amy Coney Barrett did her entire hearing without a shred of notes in front of her. You remember that? She had nothing but a notepad, all from memory. Katanji Brown Jackson, I will just ask you, do you think it's important that one of the nine people determining the most important interpretation of our laws knows what a woman is? Well, it got her. Right. Um, <laughs> well, my counter to that is that we shouldn't really be seeing the world in black and white. Um, and a woman is, it's more than what meets the eye for a definition. Um, no, it's not. No, we should see the world through male and female. Simple wow. results. Well, why? Because I live in reality, not in Narnia or some sort of weird, created academic, abstract space that doesn't exist. So, why shouldn't a person be socially welcome to identify with uh, gender outside of the binary? Well, anyone can pretend to be something they're not, but that doesn't make them the thing that they're not. Hmm. Can I be black? No. Oh, but why can't I socially become black? Blackface, right? I could pretend, wear camouflage, masquerade as something that I'm not, right? How's Ra that different than a trans person? Race and gender are two completely separate things. They have nothing to do with each other, and the existence of being transgender does not imply the existence of being transracial. So you can, you can pretend to say that you have ovaries when you don't, but you can't put makeup on to pretend to be a black person. What transgender women are claimed to have ovaries? Uh, there's lots of men that pretend to have ovaries. In fact, the CDC guidance says right now that men can chest feed. Do you think men can chest feed? That's not the sole criterion for being. So let me ask you a question. What is a woman? A woman is someone who identifies as one. Answer the question yeah. without saying the word woman. You can't say the word woman. That's, that's called circular reasoning. It's like saying a tree is something that looks like a tree. So I'll ask again, what is a woman? A woman is a person who lives a lifestyle aligned with feminine 
characteristics, not necessarily your chromosomes or your genitals. So, so someone who just wears a dress. So what you are doing is you are reducing womanhood to a costume. That's true. No. Um, so are you suggesting that like a transgender woman goes about her day pretending to be a woman, but then when she gets home, she starts acting like a man? No, delusional in every part of life, I understand that, but that doesn't mean they're not delusional. Can, I mean, there, there's a series of mental conditions where you could pretend to be a wolf. Can you be trans species too? Does, does your own mental condition dictate external reality, yes or no? Not necessarily. Okay, then why do you believe that a biological man can become something that he is not because he thinks it? Because gender is not interchangeable with sex. Yeah, right. So there are zero genders. There are only two sexes. Gender is a made-up term that started in the academy in the 1960s. Talking about sex, which is the only thing that actually can be proven and that matters, X, 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 Y, I will ask the question again, why is it that a man can suddenly become a dress and can be treated exactly the same as a woman that is biologically, not just biologically different, but somebody has a different brain, a different hormonal system, menstruate, have children. I'll be very honest with you. It is so unbelievably insulting to women to have <laughs> men have to lecture that all it takes is some weird dude with testosterone can put makeup on, wear a thong and a dress, and he suddenly becomes a woman. Here's a Guys, we need people like Charles Kick in this world. We need more of Charles Kick. We need more of him because He's really good and he tackles work students a lot. He puts them right. This is so demeaning of women, womanhood as a whole, that they just cut, cut, <laughs> characterize them as makeup, um, costumes, then you're a woman. You see a grown up man who has the testosterone carry himself to a woman washroom saying as a woman. It is so, so demeaning of womanhood that they have so much look down on women. It is really, really serious. I think this is the point where feminism ought to have stand. But right now, it's fem feminism is down. Because nothing like equality again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would a man, a full-grown man, carry himself to a woman bathroom? Because he's wearing a makeup and dressing like a woman and carrying a bag like this and saying he's a woman. It is so demeaning. We need people like Charles in this world. Charles prove woke people wrong. I think I have to do a shit about it. <laughs> because this man is really, really good. And the speeches are on point and precise. Really good. At the essence of the issue is that no matter how much surgery you do, no matter how many drugs you take, you don't stop being the thing that you were born. You don't get to determine your reality by a stroke of the will. I don't deny for a second that the trans person thinks that they are. Certain people think that they're younger than they are. Some people think they're taller than they are. Some people think they're richer than they are. Some people think they're innocent when they're not, like Bob Menendez. There's plenty of delusional people in this world. It's up for society to say no to the delusional and yes to reality. It is for us to not allow us to be reigned under the tyranny of somebody's imagination. Do you have a response? And then we'll wrap it up. I'm not going to put you on the spot. Right. I appreciate you being here tonight. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, next question. And give it up for him. That's not easy to do at a conservative event. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. He was about to cry. Um, Frank, Charles really got to him.
uh, I feel like the work student was about to cry. He was emotional and he knows the truth. He said sometimes when someone denies the truth, it's bitter. So if you choose to accept it, it's best for you. If you choose not to accept it, then it's worst for you. Because it should still stand. No matter how a man, a full-grown man, does a surgery, takes drugs, hormone blockers, um, dressed like one, as like a woman, um, does her makeup, he still cannot be a woman. That is just the truth. You still can't be a woman. And it's very painful to me that womanhood has been... Dim- it's just diminishing, like it's it's been reduced to something little. It's it's very very painful that w- women are not really standing out for this. They are trying to erase the word woman from this world. It's really really painful because women are strengths. Women are powerful. Women are something that are beautiful creatures. Right now, everyone wants to be a woman. It's crazy. Every man that feels like he is tired of being a man wants to be a woman. Just dress like the woman, then carry a handbag and say, I am Linda. It's crazy, guys. It's really, really crazy. This video was amazing. I'm hearing Charles speak and I'm really impressed. Then the work students, I pray he learned something from this. Let's just hope so too. I, I just pray he learned something from this. This was impressive and Charles really brought him to tears. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in our next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back. Wood smoking. I don't know. Papers pass at 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales.